Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Bini Tero back at you again with another video. I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and donating to my channel. I really do appreciate all the love and all the support. And thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me. It is truly appreciated, okay? So guys, your girl's Patreon channel is up and running. So if you would like to support your girl, you'll be able to find a link in the description box below. I do post two exclusive videos per week. So go check it out if you feel called to. So today's video is going to be for my Gemini's. So what's going on in this connection? So it's for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Arising. Okay. So pile number one, you're going to be the Amethyst Crystal. Pile number two, the green adventuring crystal. And pile number three, the tree agate crystal. So again, pile number one, amethyst crystal. Pile number two, green adventuring crystal. And pile number three, tree agate crystal. So pause this video if you must and meditate on the card or the crystal that you feel most drawn to. You'll be able to find your timestamps in the description box below and I'll see you guys at your pile. Hi Palwan, welcome to my channel. This is Stella BD Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number one, you picked the Amethyst Crystal and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way that I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings, okay? So my pile number one for my Gemini's sun, moon, rising, or anywhere in your chart. What's going on in this connection, my Gemini's? For pile number one, what's going on? We have the chariot. I heard someone's moving away or running away. So you could be running away from this connection or the person that you are dealing with could be running away from this connection or pulling away from this connection there is an energy of escapism here so you could be dealing with a pisces or you could have pisces in your chart what's going on in this connection for my gemini's yeah five of wands there's a lot of challenges here with the person that you're connecting with gemini I feel like you guys are not on the same page or you guys are not seeing eye to eye. There is definitely some sort of conflict when it comes to communication or interest. There could be conflict of interest between you and this person. What's going on in this connection for my Gemini's? What's going on in this connection? Yeah, we have the devil and the magician. Mm -mm, this is not good. The devil speaks of addiction, bondage, toxicity, unhealthiness, obsession. And then we have the magician, which is your energy and Virgo's energy. So you could be dealing with a Virgo, another Gemini like yourself, or a Capricorn or a Cancer as well with a chariot. But what I'm getting here with the magician and the devil, there is an energy of manipulation. It could be manipulation to dark magic as well, because the magician and the devil together represents dark magic. There could be that energy. There could be somebody interfering in your connection as well between you and this person. It may not be this person directly. It could be somebody around you or this person that's trying to energetically interfere with this connection. But there's a lot of misunderstanding with the five of wands, a lot of challenges. What's going on in this connection? We have the king of swords. So you could definitely be dealing with another air sign like yourself. Or this person could be cold or emotionally detached. And I feel like it's because of the influence that they have around them, okay? What's going on in this connection? What's going on in this connection for Gemini? Yeah, we have the Emperor. You could be dealing with an Aries. 
whatever you're dealing with could have a lot of pride they could be egotistical as well with the emperor energy this is somebody who is sitting on their throne they're not willing to budge i feel like this person wants you to come towards them they could be the one running away from this connection or you could be the one running away from this connection and this person is trying to wheel you back in this is what i'm getting here what's going on in this connection what's going on in this connection yeah we have the ten of pentacles so either you or the person that you're connecting with is more interested in their financial stability but they could also see um potential within this connection with the ten of pentacles where they want to build with you they want to grow with you but i feel like i kind of feel like it might be you running away from this connection because it's becoming overwhelming for you because i feel like an overwhelming energy coming from this pile so my gemini's if you resonate with this maybe you're the one running away from this connection because you are afraid of the intensity and you may be afraid of all the challenges that this connection could pose so the challenges that i'm seeing here could be like challenge in communication style in challenge in love language style could be challenged in like maybe maybe cultural clashing maybe you're you're from a different background than this person and that where you guys could be clashing is could be like maybe there's a power struggle here what's going on in this connection yeah we have the seven of cups so maybe this person has options or you do and you might be exploring your other options but i feel like this person if you are exploring other options gemini i feel like this person stands out from all the options that you have there is also an energy of confusion what's going on in this connection for my gemini's wow we have the lovers here and this is your energy so like i said you could be connecting with another gemini like yourself because we do have the magician we also have virgo capricorn aries and cancer but i feel like gemini you want this person you're just afraid of the challenges and you're afraid of the intensity of this connection every connection will have it, their ups and downs it all depends on like if you really want this person or are you willing to work it out are you willing to go the extra mile with this person or are you going to pull away every time you experience some sort of like setback or misunderstanding where i feel like this person is willing to work with you but they're not willing to beg for you with the emperor they're not gonna beg like if you let them go they're just gonna move on to someone else but they're not going to beg you they're not going to chase you so if you are expecting this person to chase after you they're not gonna do that okay and if you and i feel like it could even be vice versa if this person expects you to chase them you're not gonna do it so i feel like there is you guys have to come to a uh, middle ground i feel like this both of you guys have strong personalities and this could be why we have the five of wands where like both of you guys are like not trying to back down like you want what you want and this person want what they want so that i feel like there could be a compromise here for you my gemini so for my pound number one so oh yeah we have the eight of wands so there's a lot of action so i feel like this person's gonna want to communicate with you they're definitely watching you on social media with the page of swords they're definitely spying on you yeah they're definitely spying on your social media whether you guys um are following each other or not this person definitely googled you or looked you up on social media to find you with the page of swords so this person is definitely going to want to communicate with you i feel like this person wants to extend an olive branch okay they want to come to an agreement with you but i feel like you're the one who's kind of like running away from this connection yeah spirit is saying take a leap of faith towards this person okay like love is all about chances love is all about taking risk because there's nothing guaranteed in life okay even if you were to meet your soulmate like they have free will they could do whatever they want they could decide not to go ahead with the connection they could decide to pull away but what i'm getting here is that spirit is saying take a leap of faith on this person yeah ace of swords i can't make it up my gemini's i can't make it up take a leap of faith on this person like you'll be surprised on what could happen in this connection if you give it a try because i feel like my pile number ones for my gemini's who pick pile number one you might be afraid of love you might be afraid of like falling in love again and being hurt and i feel like there's a strong desire between you and this person but with the magician and the devil 
there could be an energy of like interference not like per se like you are toxic or this person's toxic it's more about like energetically there could be some sort of residual energy from past uh, lovers that is interfering and i feel like you're willing to let go and move on but you're kind of afraid and spirit is saying take a leap of faith with the ace of swords like you're going to see you're going to gain some sort of clarity about this connection yeah spirit is saying that it's worth investing in with the eight of wands yeah take action we have eight 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 here and i just seen four 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 on my clock so maybe you see those two numbers eight 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 four 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 but we also have six of wands so this connection has definitely the potential to be successful if you put in the work like i'm getting like those challenges that you're about to experience right now or you've experienced in this connection was meant for you to grow i feel like some of you can may have like anxiety attachment style anxious attachment style and you're being um called to heal that part of you and i feel like maybe this is connection is triggering that in you and that could be the reason why you're running away because you don't want to feel that anxiety you don't want to feel that pain or unresolved trauma that you haven't dealt with and especially when you come into connection like in relationships you will see certain aspects of yourself that you thought you've healed but you haven't healed and this is where this connection is trying to lead you for you to heal those aspects of yourself we have the two of wands yeah this this connection is going to broaden up your horizon it's going to expand your mind with the two of wands it's going to make you see that there is nothing to actually fear and it's just like for you to just go for it and take a leap of faith and trust your intuition obviously if it gets toxic to the point where you feel like you guys are not getting along and it's just like not bringing the best side of you then obviously you could call it quits but i feel like this connection has the potential to bring out a really positive side of you only if you allow it okay what's going on in this connection for my gemini's what's going on in this connection yeah four of swords like it's like spirit is saying like rest rest your armor like <laughs> like i feel like you are on your you're super guarded yeah five of wands like there's a lot of conflict there's a lot of like and it, the conflict is not really like you guys arguing or you guys not seeing eye to eye is more about like conflicted um desires like you want a relationship but your action is saying otherwise like you keep running away or you keep flaking on this person or you keep like you know last minute cancellation because you're afraid of commitment you're afraid of like you know you're putting yourself out there with this person even though you have other options that you might be exploring as well but i feel like those like i said those options are not as good as this person they stand out from the rest and i feel like that's what scares you because maybe you've been single for a long time my gemini's and you're afraid of like jumping full on with this person and putting in the work and then getting disappointed because i'm getting like an energy of you fearing disappointment like i feel like the five of wands is kind of like conflicted energy within you as well okay and spirit is like saying like put those like anxiety anxious thoughts to rest with the four of swords yeah like you see you keep moving forward you keep moving away like you're you're kind of like trying to run away from this connection because you are afraid of the challenges that it could pose maybe to your independence okay but spirit is saying like give this person a chance obviously you have free will but i'm getting like a positive vibe from this person even though we have the devil and the magician i'm not getting like this is coming from this person it could be like past experience people around you or people around this person that is kind of like against this this connection because they see the potential that this connection could grow into something beautiful but whoever is against it does not really want to see you guys succeed or elevate okay so we have neptune there's something that you may not be seeing or there could be illusions here it could be like you know your own uh memories of the past causing you to feel anxious i feel like a lot of anxiety okay so what's going on in this connection for my pal number one? Ooh, we have virgo definitely because we do have the magician here and i did say that you could be dealing with a virgo so you could definitely be dealing with a virgo this person is definitely someone who is 
understanding they're extremely observant so maybe this person did notice that you were anxious in this connection so they give you the space that you need in order to feel safe this person is not trying to lock you down or tie you down or force a relationship on you with the Virgo energy, this person is like trying to take it day by day and they're hoping that you would do the same or give them the chance. Cause I feel like you're not really giving this person a chance. Like every time something happens where you guys get into an argument or whatever, you run away. That's what I'm getting here with the chariot. You run away and you're like, okay, no, I'm not doing this. Like, okay, this is, this is the red flag. <laughs> like it is not really a red flag. It's just like, you're afraid of like being hurt. This is what I'm getting here. So you just decide to call it quits before the other person gets the chance to hurt you. And it's just like, you're not giving this connection a fair chance. This is what I'm getting here. So what's going on in this connection? Yeah, we have Mercury. So I feel like communication is gonna be very important, especially if you're dealing with a Virgo. Like I feel like if you communicate with this person, they're gonna be super understanding. Like, I feel like this is somebody who is very mature that you're dealing with because they're coming up as the emperor, a divine masculine or divine feminine, somebody who is like st standing in their power. What's going on in this connection, spirit? What's going on in this connection? What is going on in this connection? Yeah, we have Mars. There's a lot of passion though. A lot of passion in this connection this person is going hard for you they really want you they really want this connection to work like this person's not giving up on you we have the moon card at the bottom of the deck this person could have um virgo um moon or something like that or in mars like this person is determined but they're also very patient so this person is patiently waiting for you to like slowly open up to them and like give them a chance to show you that they're not like the others that they're not here to hurt you this person does not have bad intentions but i could feel like there could be people talking in your ears or people talking in this person's ears like spreading gossip or rumors or trying to like keep you guys in an unhealthy state of mind but spirit is saying like just yeah take a leap of faith with this person like i said it's a general reading and you are allowed to choose whatever path you want to choose but if you were to go ahead with this person i feel like it will be very fruitful okay so that's all i have for you my pile number one i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pile number one bye hi pile two welcome to my channel this is stella bd tarot back at you again with another video so my pile number two you picked the green adventuring crystal and this is going to be your reading okay so if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i'm so happy to have you back and if you are a newbie oh, welcome thank you so much for tuning in so the way that i like to do this is like to smudge the cards first before we get started so we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings okay so my pile number two Gemini's what's going on in this connection what's going on in this connection for my Gemini's Ooh, there's a lot of passion here with the ace of wands a lot of attraction here this person is very attracted to you the same way that you are attracted to them with the ace of wands you could be dealing with a fire sign <laughs> my gosh i'm so sorry guys you could be dealing with a fire sign holy moly <laughs> so yeah i like a lot of passion here Ooh, wow we have the lovers so we have your energy here gemini so this person is choosing you the same way that you're choosing them okay they chose you the same way that you chose them okay definitely wish fulfillment this person sees you as wish fulfillment the same way that you see them as wish fulfillment so the feelings are mutual i feel like this is a brand new connection or like like less than six months 
this is what I'm getting here. A lot of passion, a lot of mutual attraction between you and this person, a lot of desirability. So this person desires you the same way that you desire them. What's going on in this connection? Wow, guys, Iso wants a gun. And then we have the three of cups. So you definitely make this person happy. They see longevity with you. Like the, I'm getting like the sexual chemistry is very high with the Ace of Wands because the Ace of Wands speaks of sexual chemistry, okay? You guys are in sync with each other. Um, like you find them attractive the same way that they find you attractive. If you guys have not been intimate yet, I feel like the intimacy is going to be off the chain. And I'm also getting like with the Ace of Wands, this person is like falling for you hard like they're already attracted to you they find you very beautiful handsome you make this person really happy with the three of cups like the vibe is right this is what i'm getting here this is how this person feels about you the connection is going smoothly this is what i'm gonna like i feel like it's a brand new connection i don't feel like this is like a person that you've been dealing with for a long time like you know for like two years three years like it hasn't been that long okay even like a year i'm getting like you guys could have been like together and the spark is still there the fire is still there the attraction is still there with this person like they want you as badly as you want them and there's a lot of happiness happy energy around here yeah we have the queen of pentacles so this person can be an earth sign and we have the eight of pentacles so the way that this person views you with the queen of pentacles is somebody who's very loving very nurturing dedicated with the eight of pentacles they feel like you are worth the investment like they take you seriously and they take this connection very seriously and they want to take it to the next level so this person may even ask you to be exclusive if you guys are seeing other people and they could be seeing other people they see you like they want to be exclusive with you they want to be like only you the, the two of you like no one else in between this connection okay so like there's no third party involved on this person's side and they're hoping the same thing for you like they see like you as like the queen of pentacles somebody that they could have a family with somebody who is dependable how does um what's going on in this connection yeah we have the strength card leo energy i did say like a fire sign so you could definitely have this person could definitely be a leo here or they could be another gemini who has leo in their chart but there's a lot of passion and there is a lot of like stability like this person is very overprotective over you with the strength card this person sees you as somebody that they want to um, like protect at all costs okay this person when it comes to you like if anybody comes at you sideways or say anything to you that is like you know disrespectful this person is going to have your back no matter what like this person like they their feelings for you is stronger than you know with the strength card way stronger than you know like you may think that this person really likes you but it's like this person is like on the verge of falling in love with you if if they haven't already so what's going on in this connection yeah we have the high priestess this person could be a cancer leo cusper don't have to be they could also be a gemini um cancer cusper but with this high priestess i feel like this connection was divinely guided like you guys were divinely guided to meet each other it was meant to be like you were meant to be with this person they were meant to be with you to say that it's meant to be forever that's not something i could speak on right now but i'm definitely getting that it was meant to happen the way that you guys met the way that you guys clicked it was meant to happen like that even if you guys had like ups and downs within the connection it was meant to happen like that so what's going on in this connection for yeah we have the two of pentacles i feel like both of you guys are really busy but you're learning to balance things out within this connection with the two of pentacles you're learning to balance like what you have going on and this connection like you're you guys are trying to merge together merge your life together because i feel like both of you guys separately are very busy but you guys want to come together and build something so what's going on in this connection what's going on in this connection for my gemini's what's going on in this connection for my gemini's there's definitely a lot of protection 
yeah we have the moon card yeah this is definitely divinely guided with the moon card there's something that you may not be seeing about this person i feel like this person's a little bit obsessed with you and not in a negative way where like this person's like stalking your social media but i feel like they obsessively talk about you to their friends and family or obsessively watch your pictures like i feel like this person is like i said they're they love you more than you actually know this connection for my gemini's what's going on in this connection what is going on yeah we have the world card so i feel like a cycle is ending between the two of you and something else is beginning so if you guys were like only in the talking phase this person's gonna want to make it official where it's like yo no you're my girl or you're my man like this is what i'm getting here and if it's not like if you guys already passed that stage like you're my girl you're my man and maybe it's gonna be like okay well i want to move in with you if you guys already moved in together, I'm getting like, it's gonna be like, okay, well, I wanna marry you. <laughs> oh my God, guys, this is getting serious. What's going on in this connection for my pal? Number one, uh, number two, sorry, we have the two of cups. The feelings are mutual. Like I said, like I've been saying. And I feel like you too, you're falling in love with this person. The love is there. It's real, Gemini. If you're doubting it, if you're wondering, don't wonder. This person loves you. They see you. They vibe with you. They like your vibe. This person could definitely be a water sign as well because we have Pisces and Cancer. So yeah, this person vibes with you. They love you. What's going on in this connection with... Ooh. Ooh, I'm telling you, they want to solidify this connection with the Ace of Pentacles. I'm telling you, this is what they want. They want to have this solid foundation with you. This is what's what's happening in this connection is that this person wants to solidify this. Like I said, either it's like, you know, moving in together, getting married. Like they're serious about you. What's going on in this connection for my Geminis? Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. What's going on in this connection? Yeah, you see, they want to invest in you. We have the eight of pentacles and we have the seven of pentacles. This is investment. This is dedication. This is also patience, okay? Putting in the work and seeing it grow. What's going on in this connection for my Geminis? What's going on in this connection for my Geminis? Wow, you see, this person is trying to find a way to integrate you into their life. Because they see longevity with you. They don't want to just have a fling or like one night stands or like, you know, situationship. They're not about that life. They're about like building something solid with somebody that they actually love and that they see in the future. Like they see a future with, sorry. What's going on in this connection for my Geminis? Wow, we have the Page of Cups. Mm, this person's gonna come clean about something with the page of cups there could be some sort of like romantic gesture as well like a nice romantic dinner oh <laughs> this person is gonna be like mm, I, I hear that doja cat song i want to show you off i want to show you off I want to brag about it. <laughs> this person wants to brag about you. Yeah, they want to show you off with the page of cups. Ooh, they're going to tell you, like, get dressed, do your hair if you're a feminine here, like a woman, or if you're a man. Same thing. They're going to tell you, get dressed. Like, you know, they're going to do something spontaneous for you. But it's going to seem spontaneous, but it was planned. Okay, for you, it's going to be spontaneous because it's going to be a surprise but they have it all planned out with the page of cups like they gonna like i feel like you know if they ask you to marry them this person's gonna do this so in a, such a romantic way like they're gonna go above and beyond flowers and all like the decoration all that good jazz candlelight dinner like this is what i'm getting here with the page of cups if they have um if it's like just like asking you to be their girlfriend or their boyfriend or whatever like this is going to be the same thing they're going to make a romantic gesture this is gr like i'm definitely getting like yeah they can have like water in their chart very romantic individual what's going on in this connection spirit what is going on oh guys i can't make it up they're falling for you queen of cups 
<laughs> didn't i say water sign this person i'm telling you they love you more than they let on this person's acting nonchalant like you know not really nonchalant in the point where they don't care it's more like they're like they're masking them their feelings but this person is like in love with you <laughs> what's going on in this connection with my gemini's Ooh, this person is possessive Ooh, this person is not gonna let you go mm -mm. four of pentacles they are very possessive over you we have the ten of pentacles that's what they want with you the ten of pentacles they want to build a solid foundation with you longevity that's what they see with you with the four of pentacles they're not they're not playing about you we have a lot of pentacles here so this is a grounded individual this is somebody who wants like like they want that you know stable home family home loving you know loving situation they want that that's what they crave and they see that with you and i feel like you see the same with this person but you don't know the extent of this person's feelings for you they're, they they're in the queen of cups energy they may come off as the page where they're just like you know they're giving you gestures of like romantic gestures but really like their feelings are running deep with the queen of cups what's going on in this connection what's going on in this connection for my gemini's what's going on in this connection spirit one card please thank you Ooh, this person could be another gemini like you because <laughs> this is the card that came out you guys are definitely marrying each other what's going on in this connection and we gemini was the first card that came out so you guys could be dealing with another gemini or maybe this person may not be a gemini but they may have gemini in their chart maybe like their moon or their rising could be gemini or their venus very romantic individual what's going on in this connection Ooh, didn't i say gemini and venus didn't I, guys i can't make it up This person is very creative on how they express their love. It could be through communication. Maybe this person's gonna write you a poem or write you a song and sing to you. Maybe this person plays the guitar. I'm mean, like somebody's playing the guitar and singing to you a beautiful love song with Venus energy. Because that makes sense if you can't really tell that this person is in love with you if they have Gemini in their chart. Because air signs, they don't really wear their heart on their sleeve like that. But they could be very emotional but just you won't even know but i'm getting like this person could be like that what's going on in this connection for my gemini's what's going on for in this connection what do we have here saturn mm -mm. yeah this person could be very stoic with the saturn energy they could have capricorn in their chart or um, aquarius as well but i feel like this person could be very stoic and maybe they grew up very militant so they don't really show their feelings or they may have had strict parents so you know they may not show their feelings but they're more um they won't tell you like with their words but they'll show you with their actions that they love you so pay attention i feel like maybe their love language is act of service this person so what's going on in this connection Ooh, didn't i say leo leo came out yeah this person's passionate about you mm -mm. with the ace of wands yes so yeah this person could have leo uh sun and gemini moon or something or gemini venus or leo and saturn or something but this person is extremely passionate about you we have jupiter here yeah, this is somebody who's adventurous too yeah the grand gesture like this person's gonna make a grand gesture they're gonna do something very soon that's gonna let you know that they they are feeling you like that like it's it's real it's not they're not faking with you okay so that's all i have for you my pal number two i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number two Bye. Hi, Bell Three. Welcome to my channel. This is Celebrity Tarot by Kachu again with another video. So, my pal number three, you pick the tree I gate crystal, and this is going to be your reading, okay? So, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, oh, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way that I like to do this is like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? 
So my pile number three, my Gemini's sun, moon, rising, or anywhere else in your chart. What's going on in this connection? What's going on in this connection? Ooh, we have the high priestess. This is definitely a soul connection, a divinely guided connection. You guys may speak in the 5D. This is what I'm getting here with this energy. There's definitely that 5D energy, okay? What's going on in this connection for my pal number three? What's going on in this connection? Wow, three of cups. There's a loving, genuine connection here. Not only there is a connection, there's also a friendship. You and this person get along very well. They could be a cancer, but like, they're not just your friend. They're also your, like your lover at the same time. So it's like, you have the best of both worlds. What's going on in this connection? What's going on in this connection? We have the eight of wands. A lot of forward movement. There's some sort of sort there's some sort of truth that's going to be revealed to you within this connection that's going to make you have like a temporary pause to reevaluate the situation and proceed forward, okay? Like this person, I feel like Ooh, I don't know. I feel like you guys are friends, but also lovers, but like there's an unspoken truth, like I just feel like you and this person this person are like seeing each other on like the connection is deep okay like there is love here there's that friendship here but it, there's no label it's not a situation ship though I'm not getting that like you guys have a higher understanding of what this love is this connection is it's like you know this is your man you know this is your girl but you guys never officially said oh yeah like we're, we're together i don't know like this is what i'm getting here but this person is gonna like maybe ask you a question or comes with some sort of truth and say like no you're my girl like you're my man like we're together like something is going to happen where you guys are going to be out and about and this person is going to be asked maybe one of their friends is going to come up to them and ask oh like who is this you know who is this person like talking about you and they're going to introduce you as their man or as their girl not their friend like you're going to get some sort of revelation that this is like real like this is not you guys just seeing each other and seeing where it goes it's like really you guys being lovers okay what's going on in this connection yeah like five of pentacles in reverse maybe you guys had a fight or an argument you guys are coming out of the cold or jumping through this hurdle this obstacle there, there could have been like a no contact if it's no contact this person is gonna reach out to you with the five of pentacles to come out of the cold because i feel like some of you there could be a no contact where you guys are not communicating with each other at the moment but the love is there there's that strong bond that you guys have that friendship that never dies okay what's going on in this connection what do we have here we have the ace of wands yeah there's a lot of passion here a lot of attraction they want a passionate new beginning with you with the ace of wands yeah like i feel like you guys took a, like a temporary break maybe you guys didn't spoke to each other for like three weeks or something like that i'm not getting three months i'm gonna be three weeks you guys haven't spoke to each other and this person is gonna come back and let you know that no we're not i'm not i'm not losing you over this fight i'm not losing you over this argument i'm not losing you over this like i want this i want this relationship to work with this five of pentacles in reverse they want to come out of the cold with you so that's what's going on so if you guys are in no contact right now which i feel like for a lot of you are maybe like 80 percent of you are in no contact it's not going to stay in no contact forever this person is going to come out of the cold and they're going to let you know like no you're mine like forever like <laughs> this is what i'm getting here from this person what's going on in this connection 
yeah this is a divine counterpart this is why you have a strong connection with this person i feel like normally for you gemini you are able to detach yourself from people easily where you're like okay well it doesn't work out move on to the next i feel like with this person you're having a hard time doing that especially if you're in no contact with this person because of the strong connection that you guys have the strong soul connection i'm not getting like this is like a soul tie or trauma bonding it's really like a deep connection where that there's a friendship here that's the foundation of your love is their friendship you you guys could be friends you guys could laugh and joke and talk about silly things without taking it too seriously like that's the friendship part that i feel like you are not able to get elsewhere and the same thing for this person like let's say if they try to date other people the bond is not going to be as real as it was with you so this is why this person just know that you guys belong together this is what i'm getting here what's going on in this connection with my gemini's what's going on Ooh, take a leap of faith so i'm gonna like pound the one got that card to the wheel uh, the full card like spirit is telling you to take a leap of faith trust your intuition i feel like some of you are afraid of like how deep this connection could get and how deep you could get lost in it what's going on in this connection what's going on in this connection for my pal number three for my gemini's just one please wow we have the tower mm, something unpredictable is going to happen something is going to catch you by surprise it is not going to be negative something is going to happen that's going to change the trajectory of this connection for the better something is going like you're going to see another side of this person that you've never seen before and it's going to change your mind about them yeah knight of swords they're going to come towards you very quick swiftly there could be an aries pisces or scorpio or cancer okay what's going on in this connection Woo! four of wands this person may even ask you like yeah i want to marry you or like i want to get married Ooh, you know what song that just came to me? Meet me at the altar with your white dress. We ain't getting no younger. We might as well do it. That's Jagged Edge. Let's get married. This is a soulmate. This is why you're having a hard time moving on from this person because there is a strong soul connection um, and divine pull. What's going on in this connection yeah we have the the moon card pisces energy again like i feel like you dream a lot about this person there's a lot of challenge in this connection because both of you guys have your own inner issues to deal with but also like you can't let go of this person and i'm not getting it's toxic guys i'm really getting like it's just like you have to face your fear of getting hurt and the same goes for this person that's why you guys keep like moving away and then pulling coming back because the five of pentacles is letting me know that there was a, some sort of separation that this person wants to come out of the cold from okay what's going on in this connection they still want you they want you badly like this person's not over you and they're not i don't feel like they're going to be over you anytime soon okay they're going to catch you by surprise like they're going to come back and like let you know like no like i'm not done like i'm not over uh, this is not finished yeah three of pentacles this person's like they're willing to put in the work in this connection they want to work it out they're going to talk to you they're going to let you know they're going to sit down and say no like listen i want this and i know you want me like <laughs> they're going to put you in your spot in a good way though with the three of pentacles okay like i'm really getting like it's a no contact situation yeah ace of pentacles they're coming in with a solid offer they want to like date you correctly they want to love you correctly we have the ace of pentacles ace of wands ace of swords we're only missing the ace of cups guys like this person is serious about you whoever it is my pal number three my gemini's this person's coming in with a solid offer that's why they want to come out of the cold they want to talk to you they want to reason with you they want to make amends with you that's why i'm getting like they're gonna shock you they may even ask you like let's say if you guys are not like um together like like you guys don't live together or something like that they're gonna tell you like i want to move in with you i want to i want to do this i want to like get a house together i want to do this i want to like you know something that's gonna make you see that they're serious about you with the ace of pentacles okay so what's going on in this connection yeah they want to merge your lives together with the two of pentacles that's what they want 
what's going on in this connection what's going on in this connection for my gemini's what's going on in this connection for my gemini's what's going on in this connection what's going on yeah we have the king of pentacles somebody's serious about you with the king of pentacles okay boss energy earth sign they could be an earth sign don't have to be but this is somebody who's serious somebody who wants to they looking for longevity in the connection and they see that longevity with you that's why they keep going coming back or still like putting in the effort with the three of pentacles wanting to you know work it out and whatever they have to do they want to come out of the cold with you they want to show you that they really care for you and they're willing to put down their their barrier their defenses to be with you this person is scared of getting hurt but they feel like you're worth the effort yeah this person is definitely protecting you or protecting this connection they're willing to fight for you with the seven of wands you might be defensive towards this person because of like maybe like you guys got into an argument with the five of pentacles or there was like some sort of misunderstanding or you pulled away or they pulled away you guys like you know some some harsh words may have been said and like you guys didn't really had a chance to really hash it out and this person's gonna want to come back like they're gonna they're gonna come through and let you know like nah you're mine yeah you see we have the full card again this person is willing to take a leap of faith towards you and try again yeah there's definitely some sort of like obstacles and challenges in this connection but this person is willing to see it through they're not willing to give up on you not anytime soon what's going on in this connection for my gemini's what's going on in this connection what's going on in this connection for my gemini's we have neptune so they could definitely be a pisces here we do have the hangman and the moon card so definitely pisces energy I really feel like you guys meet each other in your dream state. You dream a lot about this person and so do they. What's going on in this connection for my Geminis? What's going on in this connection? We have Venus. I feel like you guys may have the same Venus placements or like similar love language. Like maybe you guys have two, like maybe you have two love language and they have two and then um, you guys have like you have one that matches each other or something like that with the Venus energy. There's something that is always drawing you back to this person in the same way for them, okay? Um, they can also have, like, uh, I don't know why I'm getting a cancer in Venus. This is very homebody individual or very nurturing. They like to cook. They like to make a um, very welcoming home or something like that. This is what I'm getting here with the high priestess. They're highly intuitive. What's going on in this connection for my Geminis? What's going on in this connection for my Geminis? We have Scorpio and then we have Jupiter. So they could have Scorpio in their chart. Didn't I say water? And we do have um, the tower. So this person could definitely have Scorpio in their chart or Scorpio in Jupiter or something like that. This person is very intense. They're, they're very passionate about you. Um, there is a magnetic attraction here. The same way that you are attracted to them, they are attracted to you. And the energy is very powerful. Okay, this is like very deep connection where this person is not willing to let go like they're like uh, uh i'm not gonna find this elsewhere and how i'm gonna find this anyway if i were to search for it again like this is a once seven once in a lifetime opportunity like they're like no nah, i'm not gonna let this person go not like that not without a fight with the seven of wands they're not willing to let go not just not like that that's what i'm getting here this is somebody who's extremely adventurous too they they have like this zest for life they could be cautious and sometimes secretive at times like with the scorpio energy that's because they've been hurt but this person their their intensity and their love that they have for you is like no other okay so that's all i have for you my pal number three i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number three Bye.